Cameron here um, on this Facebook Live. I hope you're well. Today I just wanted to show you a practical activity that's linked to the Classroom Secrets timetable that you could use and that's counting on. It's an early method for addition and especially useful for children in uh, year one or early key stage one. So let's take a look at what you're going to need. So to do this counting on activity you'll need a few things. You'll need some playing cards or some digit cards to generate a number. You'll need a dice or something to add to that number that you generate. A number line which acts as a scaffold uh, to help your child add those numbers on to count on. And you'll need a hundred grid or you could reduce it in size to 20 maybe uh, to play a game uh, at the end as well once the skill's been practiced. So let's take a look at how we're going to do this. So you can see I've got my ladybird to help me. That could be anything. It could be a character, anything your child likes uh, and, and will engage with uh, to help with this, this part of maths. So what we're going to do is use these playing cards to generate a number. Now, depending on the, the confidence of your child, you could generate a one-digit number or a two-digit number. So I've just turned over one card to get seven. I'm going to work with one digit, but you could turn over two and you could have 75. I'm going to stick with the one digit for now. And then I'm going to roll my dice, and I've got three. So your child may be able to do that in their head, may be able to use the fingers to help counting on, but you could use a number line as a scaffold to help you. And it's good practice to get the child to write out the addition sum. So seven add three, making sure that the biggest number comes first when counting on. And then you could use a number line to help, as a scaffold and that can be taken away as your child gains confidence. Um, it probably work best if it's laminated or uh, if it's on a mini whiteboard because then you can wipe it clean, it can be reused. So I'm going to put seven at the left hand side and we're going to count on three. I'm going to use my ladybird to help me. So I'm going to count on add one, that gets me to eight. So my ladybird's done one jump. Then it's going to do another jump. and that's going to get me to nine. So, so far I've added two, I've got to nine. You could ask your child, how many more do I need to add? I've got one more to add because I'm adding three. So questioning throughout, really useful to keep your child thinking. And then we've done our three jumps. Seven, add one, two, three, gets me to 10. And you can work up with that sequence of numbers as well. And that's just there, the little toy is just there as an aid, something to engage your child as you're counting up. And you can repeat that, as I say, you can extend it, make it more challenging by using two digit numbers, but start with the biggest number at the left hand side of your number line. So let's just have a look at what we can use this hundred square for. Let's get rid of that. Here's our hundred square. And this is a game that can be played. They can play it on their own, I suppose, but it works best with two or more players. I'm going to bring those cards back in. You can use digit cards, anything to generate a number with. And what we're going to do is make this time a two digit number. So I'm going to turn two over and we've got 52. So I'm going to write that down. You could probably do it on a separate piece of paper. Again, you can use one digit and then I'm going to get my dice back and see what I need to add to that number. It's gone off the table. I promise you it was a four. I rolled a four, I'm not cheating. So I've got 52, add four, and then you can bring that number line back in and you can do 52, add four, counting on, on that number line if your child needs that scaffold still. And the idea is we're gonna link three. So we've got 52, add four there. So I'm looking at 53, 54, 55, 56. So I'm gonna look for 56. Player one is gonna be working in red and they're gonna cross that off and then it'd be player two's go. So player two would turn over two cards to generate a two digit number. Again, it could be a one. They've got 43. They're gonna roll, they've got a two. We're gonna count on two, 44, 45. So player two would be crossing 45. And the aim of the game is to get three in a row. So it could be three horizontal, it could be three vertical, or it could even be diagonal so the first player to get three in a row horizontal vertical diagonal wins by generating a number and uh, counting on I mean you can reduce the size of that as well um, to maybe 20 um, you can just use maybe 10 as well if you generate in single digits 
that's just some ideas you could use to help your child with counting on to help master and practice early addition skills. There's loads more resources. I hope you found that useful, but there's loads more resources over on classroomsecrets.co.uk and there's a timetable on there as well with loads more activities. Keep safe.